ladies, gentlemen, and horadrum of all ages with the week of PTR access for Diablo 4 season 5 wrapping up in the near future. I know there are a lot of people who either didn't get to play, or maybe those who did, but only played a little bit who all want to know one major thing. How is your class doing, as of the PTR at least? How do the classes compare with each other, and what builds are they doing it with? First up then, if we are counting bugs, then it has to be Sorcerer at the top. There is currently some sort of bugged interactions going on with a new Crown of Lucian item, which functions off of resource spending skills, and a new Axial Conduit unique item, which changes the way that mana works in respects to Chain Lightning, and thus gives you tons of bonus damage when it does. And this combo together has made Sorcerer just absolutely absolutely broken in the most literal of ways, really. That said, this bug will more than likely be fixed, and if so, Sorcerer unfortunately is sitting either in fourth or last, probably, depending on how balance shakes out, at least past this. The other main new build, though, that is popping up for the class is a variant of Arc Lash with the Shard of Varathiel Sword and the Crown of Lucian again. This build not using the bugged Axial Conduit interaction, and this one has a ton of potential, honestly. Maybe a little bit limited on survivability for things like high pit runs, but for the more average player experience, this definitely has some legs if it stays as is. Second then today, again, bugs must be considered because this is about their current state on the PTR, and that means Druid must be in this place. This is nothing overly new, but Druid is a bit bugged at the moment. This happens from time to time, and this one is a classic really because it's another source of basically infinite poison buildup, this time surrounding Poison Creeper and all the new ways of boosted companions, and to put it simply in the current PTR, both Sorcerer and Druid with their respective bugs, are capable of hitting literally quadrillions of damage in the right situation, which is just insane. Without the bug though, Druid is still actually in a really solid and competitive spot now, with Landslide getting a number of buffs and making it far more competitive than even Windshear has been in the past, doing billions of damage and now being properly viable. The other interesting one popping up is Cataclysm-focused Druid builds with the new Bjornfang's Tusk Gloves, but there are just a million bugs with this really. It triggers Doombringer like crazy, which is silly if you have that, but while it says it gives you infinite resources while it's active, what it actually functionally does is set all resource costs to zero, which means that it blocks interactions with things like Ancestral Guidance or Banished Lord's Talisman, but does work with things like Crown of Lucian or Ring of the the Skies. Because it still counts them as skills that cost resource, it just treats the amount of resource as being zero. Realistically, this either needs to be fixed so that it does interact with those other mechanics as well, or the boarding of the unique needs to change to actually match it, because it's just sort of unintuitive right now, really. That, that said, though, without the bugs, Druid specifically Specifically, Landslide Druid especially is probably the third strongest class in the PTR, and it's just doing extremely well, and honestly, it's just an awesome build. It feels cool to play, it looks cool to use, it's great. Third up then, with bugs included once more, we should probably talk about the Rogue, where their exploit weakness Paragon Node, which is supposed to execute all non-elite enemies every time that you hit 50 sacks of the buff, it, well, this seems to, for whatever reason, be ignoring the limitation of what types of enemies that it executes, and is just literally one-shotting every thing on your screen and even a little bit off of it every time that you hit 50 stacks. So the entire goal right now in the PTR is to just build around Flurry because you can use that to gain these stacks quicker than any other possible way, and this is capable of just literally tier 200 pit runs on the PTR as a result of this. But again, this is just a really, really hefty bug. But the reason that I have it third, even with bugs considered in this list, is because it directly scales with your enemy difficulty. This is technically not really stronger against level 20 enemies than it is against level 200 ones in a literal sense, only in the sense that it obviously scales upwards with them. And of all three of these really bugged classes right now, it is the one that is most undeniably likely to be fixed as quickly as the devs can. That said, Rogue is still performing really, really well. I would say probably the second highest potential outside of bugs, with Heartseeker Rogue maybe dropping off a little bit, but still being quite strong, even with the actual nerfs that they did to the victimized heat passive. And instead, things like Flurry and Penetrating Shot Rogue are more topping the charts for the class on the PTR at least after these changes. Fourth then, and it's sort of crazy to say this, is Barbarian. Of, of course, all that considered, I instantly do have to add the caveat that without bugs, Barbarian is still probably number one, which means if they fix up the problems that are on the PTR, that will probably be the case when it goes live. The reason for this, though, is obvious. Four weapon slots is nuts, and that's even more of a thing with tempering being a mechanic now in the modern version of the game. That said, Flay Bleed Barbarian is simply stronger as one of the best scaling bar builds out there than it was before 
for this. And now Whirlwind is just getting better and better as well, which is much better for the average player. So Flay, which was sort of the min-max best build for the class already with Perfect Gear, is doing better than it was in Season 4. And Whirlwind, which is sort of the best average player doing normal content style type of build, is also just way better than it was on the live servers because they've added new ways of buffing it and a new aspect for it. Barbarian basically just stays winning. And even in the world where none of the bugs were fixed for the other classes, I don't see Barbarians complaining about the power level of their own class anytime soon, especially because they're just adding so many new legendaries and uniques to the game. And guess what? If they add new strong ones, Barbarian has the most slots to actually use legendaries and unique because they have the most equipment slots to begin with. Fifth and finally then is going to be Necromancer. Nothing particularly new or particularly busted going on in the PTR for this class, but it is definitely just overall stronger than it was in season four, which may sound like a weird thing for me to say, I guess, while also putting it in fifth place, but I guess it sort of is what it is. Now that you've seen the full ranking though that includes the bugs, I should say the full list without those considered would be Barbarian on top, then Rogue, then Druid, then Necromancer and Sorcerer, sort of relatively even in the final slot, with Necromancer probably being a bit better than Sorcerer unless they buff Sork before the season actually goes live. Necro's star build then for the PTR is Bone Spirit. This build was already doing pretty damn well in the actual live servers, but there are two new uniques and a new legendary aspect in the PTR that seriously take this specific build up to the next level and really just make it shine. It may be fifth overall in my ranking today for classes, but it is still genuinely looking really satisfying and like a proper upgrade over what we currently have for the class. That just about does it for today then everyone, just a quick discussion and rankings of the classes and builds popping up currently on the PTR for Season 5. Obviously this should all be taken with a little bit of a grain of salt, as it is all subject to change before going live, and because the PTR itself was a bit limiting, of course, both in terms of being a short time period that we actually got to test on the PTR, and the actual ability to to test things just being not quite as intuitive as we'd like this time around, with things like the compasses or the Abyssal Scrolls being extremely limited, and things like having to actually farm and hunt for any of the new uniques or new legendary aspects, which is of course just something that slows down any of the people that want to actually test this stuff and see what's going down. That said, there's definitely a lot of changes going on, a lot of buffs across the board, honestly, even the classes I have at the bottom of the list are looking like they will be honestly stronger than they were last season, outside of a few bugs that have been fixed, of course, I'm sorry sorcerer and your infinite shields. So of course, feel free to let us know your thoughts down on comments below on pretty much just all of this then. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye